My favorite place to be is right here. Not thinking about what brings me down, yeah. My favorite way to be without fear is in the now. I'm learning how. Fast life, no thanks, no I'm doing just fine. One foot in another. Floating, enjoying my freedom. Seeing off gear. I like it better when I'm under the sun. I'm Singy and I am Abigail's mom. She's 13 years old and has been writing at Shea since she was two. So Abigail's primary diagnosis is bilateral open lip schizencephaly. Uh, it's a very rare malformation of the brain where there is a groove. She has a groove on both sides of her brain and that interrupts um, normal brain function. So the messages the brain is trying to send um, can't get past the groove. And so it, for her, it causes uh, mostly physical uh, limitations or um, differences that she is challenged with. So Abigail, when she started services here, she was really weak in her trunk muscles. So we had to really work on strengthening and, and essentially making up for some of the things that she wasn't able to do as an infant. She started in physical therapy on the horse, which is referred to as hippotherapy. So we utilize the horse's movement for the therapy. When we utilize the horse as part of our therapy, it's very unique. I will get 3,000 repetitions of movement in a 30-minute session. As a therapist, there's nothing that I can do indoors that would replicate that quality of movement and that challenge for the client. Working with our physical therapy team, she gained a lot of uh, posture control, a lot of balance and strength, and that enabled her to then progress to working with an adaptive riding instructor so she could learn the skills to actually steer her horse and become a more independent rider and actually learn the sport of riding. She has grown up so much through the years. I think she started as a two-year-old, and now she's 13, teenager. She's smart, she's humorous. She wants to be independent. She wants to do her steering by herself. She wants to do her two points by herself. And I've never seen her give up. She just, she comes with a smile and makes me very joyful. So our adaptive riding program focuses on uh, teaching clients actually how to ride the horse. So they'll learn skills like holding their reins, steering their horse, um, and we look to meet them at their level. So Abigail actually participates in both. Therapy helps her be strong enough to participate in her activity of adaptive riding. The amazing things that happen here, um, I don't think could happen in any other setting, any other type of therapy. And that's what keeps me coming back. That's why I've been here for 20 years. The Shea Center really makes the community better with volunteers and donors and community leaders all coming together for a common purpose. We really are able to make a difference. Well, as a family, I think Shea has really embraced all of us, um, not just Abigail. Annalie comes twice a week and watches her sister ride, and, and the volunteers have made her a part of it. Sometimes she gets to go and help feed, or every so often they'll let her go down to the barn. But also, like Jan brings little things for her to play with and always makes time to play with her before or after and really makes her feel included. Abigail makes me smile because she is such a joyful, smiling little girl. But underneath all that, she has a wicked sense of humor. She really does. It's very much like mine. <laughs> and we just have a blast. We sing, we tell jokes, we laugh a lot, and um, she's smart as a whip. She gets everything. Her fine motor has gotten much better, her ability to grab and throw things. She steers the horse with the reins. She has to plan where she wants the horse to go when they're doing, say, a routine or an obstacle course, uh, so that's been really good for her. This growth has helped her in her day-to-day -day life. She draws, uh, she writes a lot of things. She likes to write um, on her own. She does typing. Um, she's starting to do some more daily living activities like brushing her teeth or brushing her hair. And so I think definitely practicing on her fine motor here has helped her at home. You know, her volunteers, um, her her instructors have all been so dedicated. It's amazing um, that so many people come here and just choose to be here to help the children, to help Abigail, and they care about her so much. I mean, they love her. 
and they celebrate when she learns a new skill, when she trots and is able to hold her body up well, when she makes a basket when they're playing a game. Like, everything she does is celebrated. We've always been Team Abigail, and that's what Friday afternoons for me are. I just, it is Team Abigail. I see big things in her future, and a, a big role for her to play in the community that she is a part of. He or she is able. She can do all these things that she can't do other places. So this is the highlight of Abigail's week. And she has said, like, this is, she feels free. I am here after all my tears. I am here.